Hi, we're the Knight family from Scottsville, Kentucky. This video is our border collies breaking a cow-calf herd that's never been dogged before. The puppies in this video are eight weeks old and out of our dogs. We're thankful the Lord's blessed our breeding program to produce border collies that work everything from flighty sheep to tough cattle. We've chosen clips from some of the rankest cattle in this herd that we hope will demonstrate just that. <laughs> The ideal border collie is going to be rough when he needs to be. Yeah, look at this same dog, how nice and easy he's working his sheep. Look how calmly he tucks a straggler in. Completely dog broke cattle will move off just about like his sheep. I don't like seeing my dogs or the cows getting roughed up, but the last three minutes of this video should demonstrate this is a fruitful labor with purpose. A dog's willingness to take abuse and keep on getting the job done is genetic, just like heading or healing. We work our dogs in pairs when we're breaking cattle uh, so they can stay fresh. Now all the barking you're going to hear in this video is not the dogs working, it's the ones hooked up outside wanting to get in on the action. Now here's that black cow from earlier and the dogs remember her well. This time they get a hold of her nose and will not let go. They're angry, the rougher the cattle get, the rougher the dogs get. They end up in a deadlock, the dog won't let go, the cow won't let him up until Queen comes around and cuts him loose. By the way, this dog is the mother of all the pups you'll see in this video. Let's take a look at another one of her pups. Uh, you'll see here demonstrating herding, uh, gathering, and some singling instincts. Actually, these pups did this at six weeks old, and we brought them back at eight weeks for a second trip. Uh, let's bounce back and forth for some clips from puppies to dogs to see if we see any similar genetic traits. Throughout this video, you'll notice we're trying to teach the cows that if they'll turn away from the dogs, we'll put the dog down and the dog will leave them alone, won't bite them. Look at the quiet confidence of the dog's ears. They hold their ground as these cattle are ganging up on them. And they turn them and put them back together and move them off. Look at the pup here kind of a similar sort of situation. Eight weeks old in confidence to back down a goat. Heading here and then turning and regrouping. I think this is the fourth pup we've seen in this litter here showing a lot of determination. Now with the cattle, as soon as we've had a reasonable amount of confrontation and the first opportunity that we get that the cattle will just turn away from the dogs then we put the dogs down, give the cow a chance to turn and walk away. Uh, we want to begin to program these cows that if they'll turn away from the dog and walk off, their life's going to be a whole lot easier. Coming up is a different dog than we saw in the last sheep clip. This is Tip, working sheep quietly and calmly, but watch him stand his ground on his cattle. Cattle take uh, lying down as a sign of weakness uh, from dogs, so we lie our dogs down a lot in the pen. Uh, breaking in a pen is a lot tougher uh, than the field breaking process. The dogs are in a lot more danger. Tip gets in trouble here when he's double teamed, but notice how when it's over with he comes back and punishes the cat. You can't tell it from the clips, but what we're doing is we're first just taking a corner of the pen and holding it. We saw this clip earlier, but I've slowed it down a bit so you can see more what's going on. Watch how every time this dog gets slammed back out of the way, quick as he can get on his feet, he's back in the fight. Pretty much all marked up the same, black and white. They're about three and a half weeks old. They was born inside because it was frigid cold, it was down around four degrees. So we brought them in and now we're starting to bring them out and let them get used to the weather a little bit. We sell about half our puppies at weaning, and the others don't go until I get them trained. I've been training border collies for over 20 years, most of that time professionally. A lot of dogs come in here to 12, 14 months old before they show an interest in stock. It's really nice to have a six or eight week old pup you know's keen on stock. Instead of feeding a dog a year, you get your heart all tied up with it, and then it don't turn out. This here cow finally came to the realization that staying in the herd wasn't altogether a bad idea. 
We use the same dogs we break cattle with for everything. Here, uh, Tip is taking a group of goats and sheep uh, hand, being handled by my youngest daughter, Kate, uh, with their little baby kids and lambs. It's going to put them out to graze. Here we're sending out another young dog into some woods to gather the sheep and goats. If you ever tried to gather sheep and goats and their kids out of the woods, it's a nightmare. But for a dog, it's a piece of cake. Uh, as they're coming down here, you'll see a clip of a you with a young lamb making trouble for the dog. And uh, the dog does an excellent job of putting her in place. Uh, all business, no abuse at all. Instead of just holding the ground as previously, here Tip and Molly are starting to push and want to claim more ground. Uh, you can see that as the cows move off, we'll take the pressure off, pressure off, and then we'll move the dogs back up again, and we have confrontation, that's what we'll do, and as the cows move off, then we'll take the pressure off again. Oh, oh. Here again, we see all the cows have moved off except for this one black, and she's making plenty of trouble. When we sell a trained dog, we often travel great distances to help the buyers dog break their cattle so they don't damage a young dog's confidence. Normally, it's not best to be lying your dog down a lot around rank cattle like we're doing in this clip. But we're trying to reprogram these cows that when they see a dog lie down, they seize the opportunity to walk off instead of see it as a chance to attack. We green break the cows and calves separately, then we put them together and do it again. This whole process would be cruel to the cows and the dogs if it wasn't for the outcome. And that's what we have here. This is Mr. Reese and the trained dog copper he got from us. He's going in this pen and works some of these calves. Now there's a couple of cows, but it's mainly calves. We don't introduce the dog that's going to be staying there until we pretty much have to fight out of the cattle. And then they come in loaded for bear, and the cattle can sense that. Now look at that little bull right there that was so rough in the last clip. The copper's just as tough as any of them dogs we've been breaking the cattle with. Uh, she's litter based to one of them. Nice outrun here in a big field. There's 300 acres on this side of the road. This is his level ground. It's on the edge of the Cumberland Plateau and some of it's pretty rough country. Uh, he has a fence session fenced off uh, on this side of the ridge. Uh, now watch copper going over the hill here. This is not the day after we were working the cattle in the pen. We were going to film that, but it was raining, and so we didn't want to get the camera in the field. Um, but it took three dogs to get them in after we put them with the calves in the field. They go to fight, and when you turn them out of that pen, they want to leave. They've been getting working that pen all day. But when you win that battle, you won the war. And uh, now, you watch here coming on down, you're going to see a cow with her calf trying to slip out. Now look here, uh, this is a, a calf less than 24 hours old. Uh, Mr. Reese sent me this video, I just got it in, that's why we're changing our clip on YouTube of him gathering in, uh, he's got it actually gathering different of his herds in different places, but we only had time for one clip here. But this calf is less than 24 hours old, he said. Now you see the rest of the stuff moves off with no trouble, and that's the way it's going to be with cattle. Uh, when you have a, a brand new calf, you're going to have have a little bit of trouble uh, for the first day or two but now she does an outstanding job here uh, every dog develops their own method of how they're gonna handle a cow and a calf now I probably if you'll notice what's happening is every time the dog's going around to cover the other stuff the cow thinks she can slip off that's what started this from the beginning and then she stops and then copper has to come back and work on her now you could just lie the dog down back there behind the cow so she knows she's not going to slip out and let her come on up in the herd but the fact is we don't want to argue with success here she's done an outstanding job with a calf less than a day old and then she's bringing them on down into the mouth of the pen and they're going in that same pen that we broke the cattle in do you recognize this cow with a calf? Well, here she is. She was the first cow on the first clip in this video. And that's without a calf. Cattle can be taught to respect and cooperate with the dog. Whether you're gathering, driving, loading, sorting, or just letting the dog hold the gates when you come through with your round bells. You find the right border collie, and you find the right dog.